1142, Joe and Evan in the midday. 877-337-6666 is the phone number. How about A-Rod replacing oh, yeah. Aaron Boone yeah, again? again. Right, this time in the booth. Yeah, yeah what do you think of that the Sunday hire? night crew. What do you think of that? You like that? I think he's good. I think he's good on TV. He actually is. I think he's very good. Yeah, I, but since it be other, so it's, so it's going to be what is it going to be? Uh, what's his name? Who's the showman? Uh, Dan Shulman, uh, Jessica Mendoza, and A Rod. That's my assumption. Right, that they're keeping the crew together. Yeah, you would think so. And they're just at no, or any what? They make I thought someone re- retired from baseball. Did he really? Or whatever that's called. Oh, Shulman's out. I think he's out. So who's doing a play by play now? I don't know. Bringing back John Miller. Where are we going here? Carl Ravitch, Sean McDonough, <laughs> Sean McDonough. Could be him. He's doing it Monday night. Be. Yeah, why not? Why Did not? they figure out who's going to take Gruden's place on Monday Night Football? Uh, I heard that Bruce Arians wants the job. Though. Bruce Arians? Mike Francesa possibility. Really? Uh, you never know. I mean, I, I wouldn't rule it out. I think it's pie. I doubt it, but, you know, <laughs> stranger <laughs> things have happened. That's for sure. I can see that, though. All uh, right, what is he doing over there? Uh, okay. Why is he blitzing? Think he'd come on with us? Well, he'd uh, work for ESPN, Joe, oh, so the answer right. would be oh, no. That's right, too. I forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah. That's funny. To that's think it. I forgot about. all about it. Sorry, think fellas. I can't do it. I lost though. my mind. I can't do it. I lost my mind. Oh, you know who's replacing him? Gruden? No, the play by play voice on baseball. Who is it? Matt Vaskersian. Oh, okay. I like Matt yeah, Vaskersian. Okay. Vaskersian's all right. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's a pro. So Vaskersian, A Rod, and Mendoza sticking around, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I would think so. Now, the thing with A Rod is so A Rod does Sunday Night Baseball now, and he's going to continue to work at Fox as well. So during the postseason, he'll still be with Kevin Burkhart and Frank Thomas right, and right. You know, maybe Rose, Keith Hernandez, maybe. Pete Rose, the whole right, crew. Right. Well, Pete Rose is gone. Wasn't he gone? Oh, is he gone now, Pete Rose? I forgot. I think he was gone. Wasn't he gone because there's some pretty bad allegations out against well, Pete Rose? When was it not? <laughs> That's there's what always did. allegations for Pete Rose. I think these were really bad, though. Uh, well, these were really bad. Okay. I don't know what to expect from A-Rod. How, much, how often have we heard him actually do play-by-play? I think he did like a game or two on Fox. I don't know. Hey, the thing is, Sunday night, I don't know, how often do you watch Sunday night baseball when it's not the Mets and the Yankees? Like, never, right? Right, pretty All much. Right. Sunday night baseball is sort of a religion. Because Sunday night baseball, not only is it baseball on a Sunday night, and there's usually not much else on, but that's your final shot to win the week in fantasy. So it's oh, a I very yeah, big yeah, night. I, I get that. So I get that. a lot of times I watch it on mute. A lot of times I'm not listening to the sound. But I watch a lot. Like, Ernie, would you say you watch most Sunday Night Baseball games? Is that fair to say most? Yeah. yeah okay. I'm with you. Now, a lot of times it's on mute. But Aaron Boone was really bad. I'm, I'm just being honest. Mm. Now, he may be the greatest. He could be Miller Huggins as a manager. Maybe. I didn't like him as a broadcaster. In fact, I haven't liked anybody as an ESPN broadcaster since Miller and Morgan, who everyone hated. Right, right. I didn't mind them. It's always difficult with the national guys because they're never going to – they, like, we talk about this endlessly. They, ne- they just don't know the team like we know the team. They're not watching them yeah, every but game. but think about it. Most of the games that we're watching are not the Mets and Yankees. Well, that's so true. it's different. I guess so. But I understand your point. You're 100% right. Like, if you're a diehard Mets fan or Yankee fan, and you're only watching Sunday Night Baseball when your team's on, you're going to hate it. Right. Because you're like, this guy doesn't know. Right. Exactly right. So I get that. And everything is done, and everything is on the uh, positive level. Too. A little too much. Everything is totally positive. One thing about A-Rod is you know he knows what he's talking about because the guy watches a lot of baseball. And I think when A-Rod does Mets and Yankee games, it's actually going to feel local because I think he watches no, like the that. Mets and Yankees all the no, time. No, we know he's a student. He's watching all the time. I always remember the stuff when him and Jita, I guess when they were friendly, Yeah, he'd come over, Jita come over, and he's got Sunday, you know, whatever the game is, late night West Coast game, Jita didn't care. Yeah, Jita's like, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> right. Everyone's like, I'm watching Dodgers Rockies. Right, right. Well, of course that's what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, right. Yeah, it could be good. You know, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Looking forward to hearing Alex. But I don't know enough yet because we really haven't heard him do too many games. Right. But that'll be like a fresh look now for Sunday Night Baseball oh, yeah. with new voices. Yep. It's a excursion I like. Mendoza's okay. I didn't really have an issue with her. Uh, I don't think she sure. talked that much. Yeah, she, she's really, good. She knows the stuff. It's tough with a three-person booth on the broadcast, but I never I think felt Dodger like Dodger fan. Mendoza. Who? Mendoza is she? I think so. Did she say that? Uh, I think she kind of alluded to that a number of times. My only issue with Mendoza and Boone, and I don't know if we're ever going to get to interview Aaron Boone, but I got he's got to clarify this because this really ticked me off. Was when during a really long extra inning game, or maybe they were talking about a really long extra inning game, they both were good with ties. And just ending the game after ten or eleven innings, and I thought that was sacrilegious. Yeah, that's not good. I thought that was in, that was wrong, and that was one of those opinions I do not accept. Like most of the time, right. we're very open minded. Right, right, oh, right. Your, I don't accept that opinion. Right. I no, think it's so uh, stupid. No, you can't do that. And You're so messing wrong. with the fabric with oh, that. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, it's awful. 
not that I love 17 inning games, but I mean, still, but it's still messing with the fabric of well, baseball. But here's the beauty of the 17 inning game. It's like anything in life. Shut it off then. Oh, yeah, no, no. Go I to sleep. No, no one's forcing you to stay no, up. I understand. And if I choose to stay up, I'm staying yeah, up. Yeah, right. You do what you got to do. If Aaron Boone wants to leave, uh, Yankee fans, I'd be worried. 15th inning, Boone may just leave. Now he may just say, I'm done. I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I kid. I, I kid. Yeah, but but I, I am very curious to see who's going to take the Gruden spot on Monday Night Football. I, I really am. I wonder if Dennis Bruce... Miller. <laughs> I don't think they're I going love back Dennis there. Miller. Uh, I really did. Maybe Martha McCollum. No, I doubt she's They could add her to the crew. No, I doubt she's going to be doing it. Governor Christie. How about uh, that? Governor Christie. Uh, you know what? That's not insane. He knows football. Governor Christie would not be insane. No. I, I'm with you, though. Like, I like the whole Dennis Miller and the Tony and Tony Kornheiser, oh, yeah. too. Like, I liked when they were a part yeah. of that crew. Yeah. Bruce Arians, I don't know. I mean, have we really ever heard him... It's not just breaking down the game and knowing the game. We know Bruce knows the game, obviously. Right, right, right. But how does he, like... And that and that was too positive too. I mean, John Gruden was everybody's oh, the greatest. Oh, forget about Gruden. I mean, come on. Oh man, he sat down with every quarterback and you know Gruden's and, quarterback. Oh, no, it was unbelievable. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how Gruden does in, in Oakland now. He's got a lot of pressure the on him. The reunions He's got never... a lot of pressure on him. Oh yeah. Well, look at the and, money he's making. You know, I know it. He's got big pressure on him, boy. Those reunions never work out uh, as well as the really. original. Not really. Look what happened. Look what Joe Gibbs came back to the oh, rescue. Yeah. I think they made the playoffs actually a couple He wasn't times. a disaster, no, but, but it wasn't it what wasn't, you drank. No, it wasn't like the great coach he hey, was before. Remember when the Mets brought back Roger Sedano? Uh, Roger Sedano. That was bad. We're really putting Roger Sedano. <laughs> I'm just thinking of bringing guys back. Roger Sedano. Roger Sedano. In the same sentence as Joe Gibbs? <laughs> I'm kidding. Really? <laughs> I just remember them bringing Gruden? him back and it being terrible. Oh, my God. But usually those Rogers comebacks, Sedano. man, they don't work. They don't work as well the second time around. Just the way it is. Pat in East Hanover. Hey, Pat. Pat, how are you? What's going on, guys? How you doing? What's up, Pat? Good. Uh, Pete Rose got replaced by uh, boy Keith Hernandez, by the way. I don't know if you guys remember oh, that. Oh, is, is that Okay, so Hernandez is in and Rose is out. Okay. Yeah, he's very good, Keith. Uh, I do want to talk about the Jets real quick. Uh, you were talking about Nick Foles before. Uh, if the Jets ever looked at Nick Foles, I think I would literally give up my fandom because I would just end it. I, I couldn't take that. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the Jets can't go for Nick Foles. I mean, Cousins no, is one not. thing, Foles is another. I thought you said he could no. be a star. No, you could, but I don't want league. Foles. I don't want him. No, I'm not for the Jets. Listen, I, I, I told you guys before about Kirk Cousins. I'm on the Kirk Cousins bandwagon. Uh, there was a news article that came out today on NJ.com about how uh, Cousins is very like particular about where he wants to go. He has everything written down. You know, his receivers, O line, he knows everything about every team. And that's why I really think, man, the Jets should go after him. They get a defensive end at six, and they could trade back into the first round and add another piece. You know, Maybe get a Saquon Barkley out of defensive end. But if they don't get him, personally, Joe, what do you think of this? If they don't get Kirk Cousins at six, they get the defensive end they need, or they get Saquon Barkley possibly, trade back into the first round and get uh, – and get uh, Mayfield. Oh my gosh. Oklahoma. Mayfield. Uh, Baker Mayfield. Mayfield, yeah. Get him before the Redskins get him. And you got two pieces right there. Yeah, I mean that scene sounds easy to do. I, I don't know where Baker Mayfield's gonna pull we're gonna wind up when all is said and done. I have no idea. Do you know? Uh it's right now knows. we're four months uh, out. I don't know where he's gonna be. Yeah, I don't know what Kirk Cousins is looking for. I just know the Jets are gonna be super yeah, aggressive. No, I do think that. Too. Calvin and East Orange. Calvin, how are you? Hey, good afternoon, guys. Um um, kind of on the tail end of the last caller, I'm also uh, uh, thinking about Cousins. Um, but if we were to get him in free agency, I'm thinking about possibly moving back from six, picking up either an additional second or possibly uh, a first round next year. What do you think of that? No, I'm not moving back. I wanted the six pick. If I if I'm si- if I'm bringing Cousins in, I want to get. I got the six pick in the draft. I'm going for somebody there. Yeah. No, I'm not trading back. Howard not and, me. Howard and Freehold. Remember, they got two second rounders, too. They Don't do. forget that. They do, from the uh, Sheldon right, trade. Right, right. Howard and Freehold, what's up, Howard? Howard? how are you? What's hey, up? how are you? Hello, uh, Howard. First time caller, I want to uh, say you guys have a great show afternoon. Thank you. Uh, you guys always talk about baseball dynasties and football dynasties. What about the New York Islanders dynasty that they had in the, in the, one, of the one of the great late 70s. great teams of all time? No great question about it. 1980 through yeah. 1983. You want to throw 84 in there when they lost in the finals? Yeah, you yeah. Can do that. Too. I mean, you were, yeah, absolutely. You have to, right? You have to. I mean, right. they were an amazing team. The players, no question. Between Billy Nystrom. You got no you know, question Joey about it. Mike Bossy, Brian center. Trottier. We go right, right down the line. Well, I, 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 Billy Smith. I mean, I get it. When you talk about great dynasties yeah. in this city's history, yep. 
pick your Yankee dynasty right. and the right. Islanders. Yeah, the Islanders, the early 80s. no question about it. The right. Islanders in the 80s from 80 to 84, especially the four years they won it. And they were unbelievable. I mean, they, 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 it, just unbelievable how good they and, were. And that's also... Talk inf- about a money team. No doubt. And that's what's so infuriating. John Tonelli, another guy, I, Butch Goring. I started watching or understanding sports at the passionate level we are now when, mm-hmm. let's say, I was about 10 years right. old. Okay? Right. Since that moment, I've seen the Islanders win two rounds, basically. Yeah. Three rounds, technically. Three rounds. No, and to there. think that they had a dynasty Bro. a few I mean, years they earlier how many is rounds in a row? boggling. They, oh, I mean, how, how many play, what, what is it, 15 straight playoff series? Yeah, it was the and old, then they finally lost in the finals right, to Edmonton. when they lost to Edmonton, right, yeah. Right, So that's like mind-boggling to think that that existed. They were an unbelievable team. Dave in Deal, New Jersey. Dave, how are you? What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I just kind of want to understand what, what's your whole take on, on Aaron Boone and why you think he's so bad. Um, as, I a, he did as, as a broadcaster, not as a manager. Yeah, as a, no, as a broadcaster. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I, mean, I, just didn't, I like didn't love him either. You know, I didn't love Listen, him. Listen, I mean, Sunday Night Baseball right now with that girl and whatnot, it's a complete joke. So, I mean, when so he Boone was there, wasn't the was joke? I mean, come back. on. What, are you saying just because she's a woman, it's a joke? I mean, that's come on now. She's no, good. She's no, no, actually, no. First, she's, she knows what she's... It's a joke. She's good. It's a joke. Stop it. Well, it's like the... when, when, when people are trying to, to talk about women's UConn basketball. I mean, stop it. You don't put that. That's a man's job. Oh, put that. No, come on. Sexist, oh. oh, my God. I, I mean, thought, geez. I, you know what's funny? Like, oh, my God. Initially, I was like, well, maybe he's not yeah, saying it because she's safe. a woman. No, maybe he, he just doesn't like her as a broadcaster. No, 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 no. Immediately, you could tell. He, he just didn't like the fact that she's a woman in there. I mean, why not? She's good. She knows his stuff. No, she cares. knows his stuff. She knows her. And but, it is a, there's a number of, of, of uh, women play by play people uh, that do a great job. And, and by the very way, good. And, and in, in Doris contra- Burke, how good is she? Doris Burke is tremendous. She knows basketball well, up let, and upside let, down. Look, there's no competition here. My Sarah Kustak. Oh, Sarah Kustak is great. Well, I watch every day now. That's a great Kustak, job. Her and Ian and Ruko sometimes. You know, sometimes. I watch all the Nick Net games with, with, with Ian and, and on Yes. And Sarah Kustak is terrific. Yeah. And there's no doubt. But, but here's the... I mean, that, that's as sexist as it gets. Well, that's sexist. But what you can also do, because most people don't like the Sunday Night Baseball crew for years, like I mentioned, for right, years and right, years and right, years. Right, right. You cannot like the crew and also not be sexist. But you should not like her just simply because she's a woman. Right, that's absurd. That is sex. It's a man's job. I mean, come on. But as far as Boone's concerned, look, I know he's the manager now, so Yankee fans may be very protective of Aaron, which is fine. He's not a broadcaster anymore, so who cares yeah. what I or Whether you thought about him as a broadcaster? Does, does it matter? It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. I just didn't like it that now much. I didn't like manager. the whole crew. I just didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, I never liked it. I found myself you know muting it a lot of times. Right. And I can't put my finger on it. It's probably why people may not like us. They can't explain they it. They just don't like hey. us. That's it. It's, it's sure as many. I'm sure. A lot of it's them. just your opinion. It's totally fine. And so I Some responded. Some may be related to us. We don't even know. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good point. Sure enough, don't like it. <laughs> I mean, come on. Exactly. <laughs> that was that was uh, that was man. wrong. That makes me feel bad no, about does. society. Right. Someone wouldn't like yeah, it just because you, you, you know. Unfortunately, bro, there's still a lot of that around. Nah, I know. And you know what? I guess I'm naive because my first reaction is, well, he maybe just doesn't like her. Yeah. It has nothing to do with yeah. her being. No, I knew he was going immediately to the woman thing. You're right. I was giving. I was benefiting of the doubt. I know. Doubt. I'm sorry. You really were. I apologize. That's okay. Four minutes in front of 12 noon. Beningo and Roberts with you.